Hi everyone, this is Joey back at ESC Plus, and today we are going to talk about the Lovers of Aldaro, meaning the Swedish duo that participated in Melody Festival in this past year, not the pair of skeletons that were uh, bound in Italy like from 6,000 years ago. There's a lot of confusing uh, Google's, uh, Google results that you'll get if you're trying to search for them. But the Lovers of Aldaro, to me, um, are, are a really interesting band to, to discuss. And the reason is they have started their journey into their pop music career through the contest known as P4 Nasta that happens every summer in Sweden. And through that contest, a act is given the spot in Melody Festivalen. So even though that contest takes place in August and it's before the deadline for a Eurovision song, they still will award an act a spot in the Melody Festival in, and then the act will then have to um, release a new song to compete. So in a way, it's kind of like the first Eurovision related activity um, starting in August of the previous year. So it's kind of something to, to get excited for. Um, Last year, the Lovers of Aldaro um, entered a song called Lost Forever into the comp contest. And I immediately took to the very synthesized, melancholy type uh, vibe of this song. They also really had a great stage show for even for the P4 Nasta. And uh, that was part of what got them into the uh, into Melody Festival. In. You can't deny the 80s electronic pop sound of this, and they have actually also said that a lot of their inspiration comes from Depeche Mode and Pet Shop Boys, Erasure, Wham. So anybody who's a fan of any of those bands, you are gonna love Lovers of Valdero. They have this crisp, um, modern sound with a real strong nod to those 80s bands that you may love. Now, Lost Forever became their debut single and really started to um, Gain, give them a little, a little bit of momentum. They were able to push the song into the national radio and they got a lot of exposure from that. And fans then awaited their new single to, to actually compete in a Melody Festival. In. So that happened for them first. And then we waited for the song for Melody Festival. In, and that was a song by the name of Somebody Wants. Now, a lot of people may remember um, this clip from their week in Melody Festival in. They did not make it to Andre Johnson or, you know, to the final or anything, but this is still a really big moment for a band like this that was discovered through this, this search on the happens in the summer. And so they are kind of setting the stage for a lot bigger things here just by getting on Melody Festival in. And I think it's important for us to like maybe consider some of these things because we know Mahmoud from this year also entered through San Remo Giovanni and then went on to actually win San Remo. So we never know when there's going to be um, a, an act that was going to ascend to Eurovision through one of these um, types of uh, entryway contests. So Somebody Wants, um, you know, didn't do great in during its week at Melody Festival, but I still think for Eric and Adam, this was a great, great amount of exposure. And I can just tell by looking at the performance that they, you can get a lot of, uh, kind of tell a lot about who they are. I mean, the the dancing, the, the, the costume, they're, they're very expressive. And I think a common theme running through their songs is like, it's kind of melancholy words and um, a little bit sad, but this pop upbeat disco song that makes you want to dance. So it's really cool because in a way that actually reflects their, the name of their EP, which was released, which is called Euphoric melancholic electronic eme so um that is really cool because i think that um people who are depressed or they're sad about something they still might want to dance and this is th that's a real nod to the, the bands of the 80s that were were putting out music like that like Depeche mode and, and erasure they had the same vibe about them and i i love this because it's drawing on those great inspirations from the 80s but it's still fresh and sounds like it could be um, on the radio in 2019. Now, since Melody Festival in, um, the band have released one more single and it's called Faster to Nowhere. Um, and it, it continues along the same, same lines of what they've been um, 
delivering thus far. It does have a 12 inch mix that kind of got out, out there and may, maybe got a little bit more um, airplay in the clubs and, such, and whatnot. But they're making the rounds right now as it's Pride Month everywhere. They're doing a lot of gigs um, and they're gearing up for uh, an album that will feature um, what we're told maybe some happier songs too. Um, one interesting note about them is that they are not strangers to the Eurovision stage and I always love this type of stuff. Um, one of the band actually appeared um, in the Moldovan entry from last year with Doritos as one of the dancers, which I thought was really cool. So that shows how they've got their, the, this uh, ability to really present on stage. They've got the choreography down um, and, you know, it, it wouldn't be uh, crazy for us to think that we may see them again very soon in the future at Melody Festival and, or perhaps somewhere else. Uh, looks like they may be going on tour um, after this album is released. Uh, Eric and Adam are very excited about that and hopefully we will see them somewhere um, closer to, to, to where, where everyone lives besides, besides Sweden. Hopefully they get out, um, do multi-country tour, maybe even come to North America. Part of what's really cool is for 2020, they are writing music with Ricky Wilde, who is the brother of famous Kim Wilde, um, who did a lot of songwriting for Kim. And so pop music fans of Kim Wilde and the 80s are gonna love this stuff. So please check out Lovers of Valdero and pay attention at ESC Plus for updates on the P4 NASA contest happening in August. I know I'm gonna be paying close attention to it because there could be some more great bands coming out of this. And we know for sure, our first Melody Festival in 2020 act will be coming out of it. And make sure you subscribe and like to our channel so you get all the latest updates and share this video so your friends can see a little bit about the Lovers of Valdero. And, um, you know, maybe they'll learn that it's not just a pair of skeletons from Italy. So, in any case, thanks for watching.